<laughs> whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hello and welcome back. You are <laughs> gaming with me, Mrathgar, and today I am going to be showing off my carrot cart. At least that's what I'm calling it. It's with the idea that you can actually dangle a carrot and the peasants will go after it here. Dark Bull mentioned a cart idea a while back of using peasants that are going to be in a little bit of a corral here and then dangling a rock in front of them and then controlling it using a series of levers. And that is what I have invented here. I've never tested it, so we're going to see if it works out. But at any rate, I think that's going to be pretty cool. So let's get this thing rolling and see, see if it's even possible. First and foremost, let me show you the features. In the front here, I have a little bit of a corral where some peasants can stand and run around, and as they run into the frame, they should be able to push the cart in that general direction. So I should be able to go left, right, and forward, and then I don't really have a plan for reverse at the moment, but hey, whatever, that's cool enough. And then here is the steering mechanism. I have a locking winch right here and a place for it to come to rest if I wanted to unlock it. And we're going to see how that works out here. On the left, I have a crank and that is going to allow me to adjust the height of my crane, which is up here, which is a winch with a you know manual pulley right there. And down here is my carrot, which is a enclosed rock. And as peasants like to run after the rock. So that's what they're going to be going after there. Uh, I will actually be standing right here. Once I turn the gravity off, I am enclosed to where I cannot move around, and that should be working out pretty good. And from here, I can control the vehicle left and right. So as you can see here, I can reach all of my controls from right up here without needing to really move around that much. This little device over here on the left will bump into the frame and limit the movement so it doesn't just go crazy. So that's the idea, and we're gonna see we're gonna see how it works out here. Back here, you can put some luggage in here, like a deer or something. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. I can put a deer back there because that isn't going to cause problems at all. But hey, how about you run the other way? Please don't break my machine. Oh my goodness! You ever thought of a bad idea? This would be it. This would be it. <gasps> Deer-powered cart. Next invention. That's gonna happen. I'll be like. Santa Claus. No, don't break my machine, dude. <laughs> I don't want you to break it. Just die, Bambi. Oh, well, I mean, that's good enough, right? Okay, well. <sighs> and I'm feeling good about this. Let's winch up the carrot. So to do that, I'm going to move the crane over to the left, to the left. Well, actually, why don't I just control it from here? What happened? Oh no. Oh, and apparently that fixes the back. Okay. So I turn this. Why aren't you turning? Oh, I guess I am interfering with the frame a little bit, and that might be why. There we go. Perfect. There, I should have plenty of room now. You wanna stop doing that? No, you don't. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take it for what it is. Here we go. <laughs> I'm having doubts now. A little bit up. Yeah, that's about perfect. Now, the thing that might keep this from working is if the peasants cannot calculate quick enough because they tend to pause when something goes weird around them. So that that may cause some issues, but let's see. We're just going to correct this thing or I could just manually turn it. All right, I should be able to do that. There you go. Or the fact that it might continue to drift around and not stay solid. In that case, I might need to lock it into position somehow. And I think I can do that by uh, adding another attachment off here and then putting a locking device, kind of like I have 
right there. So that should be good to go. I think that's I think that's all that's going to be necessary. The real question is, can I drop this down without it breaking into a lot of pieces? We're going to see if that happens. All right, here's the moment of truth. Game, did you uh, change how you made things go from lock to unlock? I think you did. Why would you do that? Arrgh. Oh yeah, that's going to work out real good. Let me just go ahead and paste that down. <laughs> All right, fine. I should be able to just paste this anywhere, but not way, way up here. Because that's not going to work. Oh no, now it's decided to get a mind of its own. Alright, can this device actually just move now? Can I run around and push it? Or do I have a wheel stuck in the ground somewhere? Ah! Wow, that was kind of impressive. Whoa! That tree is out of here. Awesome. Aha, I think I have one that's legit. I can move it. It's not easy to move, but it is movable. All right, I'll uh, reset my carrot and we'll make this happen. All right, well, I've had to create a giant counterbalance just in order to get this thing to be able to rotate back. So I think the manual functionality of being able to lift something like that no longer seems possible. I'm not sure if they changed something in the game, but got to find a different way to actually lever that up. Because uh, right now it's ridiculous. But I'm just going to... I'm going to pretend like it doesn't exist. And we will just move on from there to see if it's even possible to move. Move around with with the uh, peasants inside without that functionality right now. So here we go. <clears throat> Crank it up. Get her in there. And I should be in a good position now. There we go. Should be able to rotate this left and right. And as you can see, I've boxed that off. So let's rotate back. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. You can see it always wants to be pointing downhill. So that's going to be a problem with this. Is that I'm always going to go in the direction of the slope. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> Alright. Well, there we go. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. But I've made it. And let's see what happens when we put some peasants down in here. The moment of truth. Here we go. Please do tell me you care about that. It's right up here. Give you a little nudge, maybe? A little something? Why are you ignoring the carrot? Oh, well, let me crank it back down or something. See what happens when I do this. They were going after it earlier. Hmm. Is it not far enough out for them? Let's see what happens when we move its location. See if they change where they're looking. See if there's promise to this. Gosh, everything has stopped moving. Everything just became too heavy suddenly. What a pain in the butt. Yeah, no, maybe. What if I drop it on your head? What happens then? Still nothing. Still nothing. Come on. Arr! There they go. Now they're running after it. And now I got this really annoying glitch going on again. 
Ah, once it goes suspended, they don't care anymore. Okay, so that's that's the issue. <laughs> I think I might have just... Well, I don't know. They seem to pay attention to it. Ah. I gotta admit, this is a real... This is an absolute pain. Ah. Ever since some stuff became more heavy, you just can't handle it. I mean, I get that it's kind of getting blocked up now, but these guys aren't even moving the cart. There they go. Now they got a little momentum. Come on, guys. Go forward. Push it forward. <laughs> hey, it's finally working. Sort of. I'm not going to say it's the most impressive thing I've ever built. Come on! Arrgh. Maybe they all need like their little corner or something. And this thing's got to be farther out. Alright, so I guess I got to make some modifications. Alright, so there we go. That's a little bit higher. That might work. Now if I attach this. Okay, give it a little bit more height. Come on, guys! You can do it! You can move! <laughs> they really don't want to. Ah! Ah! Stop doing this! This is the, this is the worst glitch in ever. This silly... There we go. There we go. Okay, so... It looks like I got to take out a couple of these guys, because... Well, they're just not working. And... I can't deal with that. Oh. 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 There we go. Much better. Much less random clunking and all that annoying stuff going on. Let me reduce my my front cart here and make it a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more agile. And we're going to give them all their own unique box to run inside. And that means I might get a little bit more power out of it because then they're actually pushing on the frame rather than just pushing on each other, which may not translate into movement. So I got to increase my human power. All right, so there we go. I now have three individual boxes. So let's see what happens when I put a couple of these guys in each, each cell here. I have high hopes. One, two, three. Zero movement. That's kind of a bummer. Give them a running start, shall we? Come on now, guys. Since when did you guys, you're going backwards. Alright, well, let's lighten up the cart a little bit, see if that's going to make any difference here. We'll reduce the weight. Bunch of lightweight workers up here. Not pulling your weight, doing your job. They keep kind of freaking out, really. They don't really know what to do. I don't think I'm getting some efficient power out of them. Well, let's drop this down, make this a little bit lower. Maybe that'll fix them. Yeah, see, there you go. Go after it. Come on, cart. You can move. It wants to move. It really does. <laughs> hey, hey, it's moving. Nope. Oh, and now they've decided to reset. Yeah, this is what I thought was going to happen. They just kind of, they have a really hard time figuring that calculation out. Once starts, stuff starts moving on them, they just kind of reset. They think a bit, and then they'll start moving again. Yeah, no. 
I'm pulling out weight wherever I can. There we go. Now I'm inside of it. And. And. Here we go. I'm going to turn it so it goes straight. I'm going to turn it so it goes straight. Uh. Alright, well, I've got one last idea to try to save this project. Oh my gosh. Rotate to the correct spot. Been there too many times. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is try to pull this tight with a couple of different ropes and see if I can't. Woo, there we go. Now we got some control. It's just spinning away. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, buddy. It's freaking out. Oh, I broke the game now. We'll give that one a crank too, why not? <laughs> uh, um, this is not going as planned. Not, not going as planned. Uh oh. Let's cut it. Woo! Well, everything stopped moving. We'll just uh, replace our civilian people and move on. There you go. I mean, this seems like it's going to work. Get in your box, dude. Get in your box. Get... You're not going to get in your box. There's always one that's really excited to do all the work. The other two are a little lazy. Oh, there it is. It's just the teal guys. Come on now. Ah! <laughs> now go! Push the cart! Nothing I do is working. What if I put some deer in the back? We're, we're, we're now to the point where we're putting deer power in here. There you go. Go, deer. Make it move. This is the most immovable cart I've ever built. I do not understand it. What is wrong with you? Do these wheels just not work? Oh, well you can go. <laughs> uh, I must be trying to use the wrong thing here. Apparently you gotta use deer. Oh my gosh. Wheel. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. Like. Ah, oh, but that, that constant thudding is killing me. Boom. Boom. It's just blowing up my ears. Oh, no. Now they're winning. Alright, let's take this back gate off. Maybe that's the source of my problems. Now go the other way. Get out of here. Uh, they just don't have what it takes. They just don't have what it takes. I mean, that's like the conclusion. <gasps> What's going on? Oh, crap. Those things are like super loud. And my civilians are dying? I thought there was like something on the rage over here. Shut up. You're going now. Scar. Yeah, that's right. What? <laughs> oh, what? Are you stuck? Is that your issue? There you go. Floating midair. Much better now. This, this is, this is ridiculous. I don't even know what to think of this anymore. Come on now. You can do it. Come on, civilian. I really want to believe that this can work. I mean, I can take weight away all day long, but... Just a little bit of motion, and then they just don't, they don't keep moving. They don't have a real consistent push. I think they're just too sporadic in their attempt to actually push on something. But they're working now. They're working now. There it is. As mild as that success is, the carrot cart is actually working. 
be it the most ineffective thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just mark this one down as probably not possible. But maybe it'll be a revisit sometime later. At any rate, guys, I attempted the no! carrot cart here. Killed my civilians. Everything's dying. Um, and I'm able to, like, flip it over. And it's very interesting now. There we go. Go chase the... Go chase the carrot now. They're much more effective pushing this way. Aren't they? Sort of. <laughs> well, if you guys happen to have another idea that you want me to try here in the Medieval Engineers, oh. go ahead and let me... Let me know about it in the comment section below. I'll attempt to not kill a million civilians in the process of this. However, I can't make any guarantees. I happen to be specifically talented at at creating contraptions that are just very effective in that way. And, um... Yeah. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode. As always, guys, stay awesome. Peace. Oh. <laughs> Rothgar, out. Look at these guys. Who's, who do you think's gonna go? Is Black gonna go? Oh, he's done. He's done. No, no. No? Oh. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> this is the most impractical thing. It seemed like such a good idea. What a bummer. Oh well. They don't all end up awesome.